Hello, the Grouchy Badger has returned in quarantine. I think the rest of the world are just sitting inside and just watching a lot of Netflix and movies. So today I decided to look at The Lighthouse. Um, it released just as when all this pandemic crap started to take effect. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. Patterson is meant to be really amazing in it. Um, I do think he's over the last good sort of four or five years, he's sort of proved himself to be a really pretty good actor. And he's the next Batman. You know, so it's you know, it's very interesting to kind of see what he can do and I've seen him in other little kind of bits of films, but I think this will be the first time to kind of really see his acting chops, and that's something I'm really, really excited to see. Um, but yeah, Willem Dafoe, Robert Pattinson tied into a lighthouse. Let's jump right in. A24, really, really good company. They, I mean, they're just smashing it with these very original movies, just giving you know, just cuts through the kind of Hollywood crap that we've been so used to seeing. Um, but yeah, now let's, I'm really, really excited. Ooh, four by three ratio, interesting. So I knew it was black and white, but I thought it was like a digital. I wonder if they should. Something about black and white, it just looks beautiful. Just the monochromatic. Okay. So I'm thinking the premise is very simple. Two people <laughs> come off, two people go in, and uh, they're there for four weeks, and then their time is up, and then. But yeah, no, no, this is beautiful. Oh yeah, no, no, that shot, that is so nice with the light on the... I think he's going to be a good Batman guy, I really think he'll do something really awesome. Four weeks. <laughs> that fucking seagull. I hate seagulls, Oh. <laughs> Open the window, snap its neck, do it! I don't advocate violence, by the way. Just 3 a.m. in the morning, you hear seagulls flying around, creating loads of noise and shit. What you know, it's <laughs> Crazy psychopathic birds. It's, oh, they're a nightmare. Oh! To be honest, if I was in a lighthouse for four weeks, Jack it out a bit. It's going into the lighthouse. Oh, just the refraction of the light. I mean, the lighting is superb. I think, yeah, the, the premise of this film is very simple. It's just that sort of cabin fever type thing. Jizz. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a xenomorph slime oozing from the ceiling, but no, it's just Willem Dafoe's spunk. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, the sound of seagulls will drive me nuts. Oh, it died. Punch it! Punch it! Punch it! Go on! No, you want to do it? Do it! Do it! Go oh, it! Go it! Yes! You got it! <laughs> oh my God! This yes. 
be honest. Yeah, I've got some seagulls on the roof of my flat. They've got babies and stuff. Every time I go to work, they dive bomb me, and oh, I'd love to do this. I can't. So this satisfies that craving. <laughs> oh my god. It's made mince me of it. Amazing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Really good hacks by the And a as well, really good, but just this, yeah. Wow. Uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, it makes my throat feel funny. Oh, there's mud in your mouth, or oh, sand, ugh, oh, that's gross. Oh, props for the photo for doing it. Uh, I'm sure it's a one take. <laughs> oh. That's pretty cool, it looks like uh, the shape of uh, an octopus with the eyes and its legs. Perhaps it's intentional, I don't know. But yeah, the imagery is really nice. And you saw the tentacle with Defoe earlier on. We'll definitely have a few cracked ribs after that. Interesting. So overall, uh, it's a it's a very very good movie. I did enjoy it. Um, is it something I'll probably watch again? Not really. I think maybe I might use it as a reference for composition and shots and things. Um, but yeah, it's very beautiful to look at. The monochromatic look really is stunning. Uh, the performance, performances are amazing. Um, <laughs> the seagull scene is my favourite scene. <laughs> Maybe I should get help. That, I love the um, the lighthouse shot at the end was really good. It reminded me very similar of the final scene in the film Annihilation with Natalie Portman because there's a scene where she goes into the lighthouse. Um, again, I don't know if you haven't seen it, but there's a bit of a spoiler. Towards the end, there's like a, some alien entity in it and... Whereas Rob Patterson is looking to this very spherical light, uh, Natalie Portman's character is looking in this very alien um, sphere of light as well, and she's very transfixed by it and stuff. And yeah, I saw some very nice sort of contrast. You know, that was hers. Very yeah, just yeah, no, really, really cool. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, there's lots of jizz in this film. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's really cool and. Um, Hope you enjoyed. Um, hopefully to do more of these things. And uh, all the best. Take care, guys. Till next time.